What is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you don't know who I am, my name is Gaby, Gabrielle. If you're new here, welcome. If you're an oldie, what's up? I'm so excited to be recording this video for you guys today. So I'm coming at you guys today with bare face, skin glowing a little bit. Y'all see your girl coming down. Okay, let me calm down. But yes, today I'm coming to you guys and doing a full, hopefully, full hair routine of a cream of nature. So here's the cake. Last summer at the Alpha Kappa Alpha Boule in Houston, Texas. At this particular event, the gift was a bag full of natural hair care products. And I'm talking about Cream of Nature, Main Choice, um, it was like tea tree oils and like all this like peppermint oils, all the fancy stuff that you hear about on YouTube. They literally gave us a bag, a full bag of these products. And I've been saying since the summer that I was gonna go through and do some kind of tutorial showing off these products for you guys and letting you know how they work on my hair. So I have used some of the products, but I do have this bag full of Cream of Nature samples. I mean, it's just, I literally had this bag here full of Cream of Nature. I've pulled some of them out. But yeah, just full of Cream of Nature samples. So today, like I said, I'm gonna to attempt to do my full natural hair care routine just using these Cream of Nature samples. Any of you with natural hair know that this is quite a process. Wash day is just, it's the most. So without further ado, I'm gonna go through what products I'll be using today, and then we're gonna go ahead and get this wash day started. And real quick, if you're not already following me on Instagram, what the heck are you doing? I've got Instagram, I've got a Facebook page, I've got a Twitter page, but really Instagram is the main one because I always interact with my followers there and they get to choose things and like do all kinds of fun stuff that typically goes into my YouTube videos. So take a second and go follow me over there. Okay, I'm gonna stop blabbing and get into what these products are about. So first step in a wash day routine is typically some kind of like shampoo or like cleansing situation. And so surprisingly the packet didn't come with any shampoos or if it did I used them at some point before this. So actually it did come with this apple cider vinegar um, clarifying rinse. And I actually have used this before. I had the full bottle of this product. So this won't be a first time, although I can't remember the last time I used it and I don't really know what it used to do for my hair. I don't remember. So this will act as our shampoo. It'll be our cleanser prior to the Purelicious Co-Wash Cleansing Conditioner. So this is supposed to gently cleanse and remove product buildup with exotic shine. It's sulfate free, color safe. And so this is what we're gonna use for our conditioner. Now I know y'all are laughing at me because honestly, this little packet of conditioner is not gonna do, I mean that might hit me here. You feel me? Like that's not gonna do much for this hair of mine. But it's my lucky day because I do have a full bottle of the Purelicious Co-Wash. I actually have never used this product as far as I know. So you're probably asking why do I have an entire bottle of it? This is actually from one of my friends. She wasn't using it anymore and she gave me the product. So yeah, we've got plenty of the uh, co-wash. Then after that, we're gonna go on with the Strengthening Milk Mask Curl Repairing Deep Treatment. It's supposed to help restore dry, damaged curls. And this works like a deep conditioner. Um, that's basically how I'm gonna use it because you put it in, you let it set for, it says five to 10 minutes and then rinse thoroughly. So that is what I'm going to do with this milk mask. Then after that, we've got a few options. So as far as a leave-in, um, or something to hydrate my curls. So they do have a moisture recovery leave-in curl milk. And this is supposed to instantly moisturize with exotic shine, soften and detangle and define curls and control frizz. But there's also all these other options. So we have this Cream of Nature Coconut Milk brand that, so it has a hydrating curl cream for rich moisture and sign for soft defined curls. And then we have the Pudding Perfection Curl Enhancing Cream, which is supposed to shape, shape and smooth for stretched out curls. And then we've got the Butterlicious Curls Curl Hydrating Cream, which is a weightless hydration for soft curls. So call me crazy, but I really think I'm gonna use the leave-in for sure. And then I'm thinking about even the weightless hydration because it's supposed to be weightless, so I'm assuming that it won't add like a thick, creamy, like ridiculous texture to my hair. And then I think we'll choose between the hydrating curl cream and the pudding perfection. I might do the hydrating curling cream just because I actually am going to blow dry my hair at the end of all this for a 
completely separate video so we might go with the hydrating curl cream actually and then just to show you guys what this can do I will be using either the flexible styling snot which is supposed to smooth hair control edges tame frizz and provide exact shine or the shine and hold dropped it uh, the shine and hold control glue which is supposed to smooth and control flake free alcohol free then I think I will just try out this 24 hour edge tamer that came with it it's supposed to smooth hold and control edges it comes in this little like circle packet and it's the um, coconut milk um, line from cream of nature so yeah I think I don't know which of the styling gels I'm gonna use but I'm definitely gonna use the edge tamer just to show you guys what it can do. So trying to talk and give you my thoughts while I'm doing it is typically a hassle. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do it and show you guys the entire process and then I'll just talk over it and share with you guys my thoughts about each product while I'm doing it. So if you end up having any questions while I go through this that I don't answer, make sure you drop them in the comment section and I'll make sure I get back to you. And without further ado, I don't know why I'm kind of nervous about this. I'm not new to Cream of Nature, but I'm new to pretty much all of these products. So um, y'all wish me luck. So I'm starting off by taking down this old wash and go that was stuck in a bun. It felt so good to finally have my hair out, but my ends are dry and I'm ready to just get my wash day started. So I started off by rinsing the hair because the instructions in the apple cider vinegar rinse say to do it on wet hair. Um, so I went ahead and did that first. And then from there you can pretty much see that I'm just parting my hair into sections and rubbing in that um, apple cider vinegar. So I just pour it in on um, various parts of my hair and then just rub it in. And the instructions say to leave that for one to three minutes, so I did, and then rinse it out. And we're going in with the co-wash, the Purelicious Co-wash Cleansing Conditioner, and just rubbing that in everywhere. It had a funny smell to it, guys. I don't know what that was about, but um, yeah, I just went ahead and started rubbing that in. And I used that packet first, but then went in with the bottle, because obviously the packet was not enough. And like my typical routine, um, I'm just raking it through in sections and twisting up those sections. And yeah, I'm just going to do that throughout my entire head. If you want to see my full um, wash day routine, I do have a whole separate video on that that I will link. As you can see, my curls are already starting to pop through that conditioner. So I was honestly very pleased with how this did my hair. It was very moisturizing. My hair felt soft already in the twist, so I was happy. After letting that sit on my hair for a minute and then washing it out, my hair was honestly so soft. You can see my curls are popping at this point, so I was happy. Then we're going in with the Strengthening Milk Mask Curl Repairing Deep Treatment. We're using this um, basically like a deep conditioner. So I just went ahead and rubbed it in everywhere. I only had one packet of it, so I didn't have much to work with. But then I went in with my Denman brush to detangle. And then I'm following up by twisting um, just in larger sections. And again, honestly, nothing bad to say about how my hair was feeling at this point. Um, felt very moisturized and soft, and I knew it was going to come out great after I washed it out. I was overall pleased with how my hair felt and looked afterward. It wasn't super amazing, super moisturizing. Maybe I just need to have more product next time around, but it was okay. It kind of did the job for what I needed that day. Now we're heading in with the Moisture Recovery Leave-In Hair Milk and I'm just rubbing that everywhere. And honestly, this was pretty thick. As you can see, you can kind of tell the white buildup on my hair, so I really had to work it into my hair. Um, but I was pleased. I mean, my hair felt really soft. And I would definitely consider uh, purchasing a full size of this. Um, and just seeing how it does on my hair on a regular basis because honestly, I mean, you see my curls are popping, my hair felt pretty soft, and I was pleased. And just to test it a little more, I went in with a dimmer brush to see if my curls would pop, and they are popping, honey. <laughs> And I can tell when my hair is really moisturized when the shrinkage is epically real. And y'all see it, the shrinkage is so, so real. So now I'm going to go ahead and stretch my hair and use the flexible styling snot on my edges. 
Um, I figured a ponytail would be the best way that you guys could see, you know, how this really works because that's when I usually use gels is to lay my edges for a ponytail. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now for you guys. And you guys see the flexible snot, I mean, on its own, like without a brush or anything, is already laying my edges. But I did go in with a brush just to, you know, play around with it and see how it would do. And honey, I mean, you see it. I mean, wow, we don't have no edge control or anything on that. But we are going to go in with this 24 hour edge tamer just to test the product. And you guys, I was shook. Like, I was shook. I swear by got to be glued for my edges. But this edge tamer made me a believer. It's so thick but doesn't leave a residue. Like, it's actually making my edges extra shiny, extra laid. I could probably style them even more if I had like a toothbrush or something. But this is just a quick thing for you guys to see. I mean, I'm blown away. Honestly, no major complaints about any of the products. The ones I know I will buy is the Flexible Snot and the Edge Tamer. Those were amazing. But anyways, I hope you all enjoyed this. If you're new to the channel, I hope you'll consider subscribing and sticking around. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye!